Alexander's Outed by Pamela Allen. Alexander lived with his mother and his four brothers and sisters in the most beautiful place in the whole of Sydney. But Alexander's mother was bored. So one warm sunny morning, they all set out in search of adventure. Past the Bottle Three, through the Iron Gates and along Art Gallery Road. Stay close, take care, quacked Alexander's mother. But Alexander did not stay close and Alexander did not take care. He straggled behind with his head in the air. In College Street, a man rushed out and stopped the traffic. Stay close, take care, quacked Alexander's mother. But Alexander did not stay close and Alexander did not take care. He straggled behind and he did not hear. By the time they reached the other side, Alexander had disappeared. Alexander's mother quacked and quacked, Alexander, Alexander, and all his brothers quacked and quacked and flapped and flapped. But they couldn't find Alexander anywhere. When they stopped making such a din, they heard a faint and distant quack from deep down in the earth. A young man and a middle-aged lady came over to see what was going on. The young man tried to reach Alexander, but his long arms were not long enough. The middle-aged lady had an umbrella, so the young man tried again with his long arms and the umbrella, but they weren't long enough either. A young couple picnicking in Hyde Park heard all the commotion, packed up their basket and came over to see what all the fuss was about. How are we going to get him out? The middle-aged lady asked. The young couple had no idea. Cheer up, they called out and dropped a half-eaten cheese sandwich down the hole. A policeman arrived. He knew exactly what to do. He lowered his whistle down the hole on the end of a long piece of string. Here, he shouted, grab hold of this. But Alexander did not grab hold. Alexander did not hear. A small boy and his mother joined the crowd. A feeble quack came from deep down in the hole. How were they going to get him out? Then before anyone could stop him, the small boy tipped his drink down the hole. <gasps> yeah, now you've gone and drowned the poor little blighter, shouted the young man with the long arms. And they all tried to peer down the deep dark hole to see. Everyone started talking at once. They all wanted to rescue Alexander, but how were they going to do it? From their basket, the young picnickers handed out two cups, two plastic bags, one lunchbox and one thermos flask. The small boy still held his empty drink can. Then, ducks and all, they pranced in one long snaky line to the Archibald Fountain. Now, dipping and tipping, dipping and tipping, skipping and dripping, quacking and flapping, dripping and skipping, from the fountain to the hole and back they danced. Slowly the water rose up and up and up until out popped Alexander like the cork out of a bottle. His mother flapped and flapped and quacked and quacked and all his brothers and sisters flapped and flapped and quacked and quacked. Such joyful quacking, such happy flapping. When the celebrations were over, they set off still quacking and flapping back across College Street, along Art Gallery Road, through the Iron Gates, past the Bottle Tree, and got safely home in time for tea. <laughs>